Hey Rexinators, it's Lyrex here, and today I got something a little bit different for the channel today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly edit your XML files for a limited backup. The reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people don't know how to properly edit their XML files for a limited backup or any of the other related mods like Stop the Ped or Computer Light. So I'm making this specific video for a limited backup to kind of help ease that confusion confusion a little bit um, some of the files do have instructions on them in the actual files but some people are more of a visual learner which I completely understand because I'm the exact same way so uh, I'm super happy to get down with it and help you guys with it if you guys have any questions please go down in the comments section below or if you're watching this in the actual discord server go to either mod support one or mod support two and somebody will help you with it so if you guys want to learn how to properly edit your XML files for a limited backup, keep on watching. First things first, you will need to know where to locate your XML files. At this point in time, I'm not going to be showing you guys where how to install it. Uh, I'm going to be assuming at this point in time that you guys already know what a limited backup is where to install it at and how to install it and how to use it this video is specifically learning how to mess the xml files so if you go to your gta 5 folder if you have steam it'll be i believe in program files 65 or 64 whatever it is um if you have if you have the Rockstar launcher version like I do, it'll just be in program files. And if you have Epic Launcher, I believe it's in program files as well. For now, I just made a little test folder. Just to illustrate. Right now, I just made a little test folder to illustrate the actual GTA 5 folder itself. So if you click on GTA 5, plugins, LSPDFR, then into a limited backup. Here you will see all of your files that you're going to be working with. And you notice there is quite a few. So let me break it down really fast. Audio, we don't need to worry about. Audio has nothing to do with this tutorial at all. Don't mess with it, don't delete it, don't edit it for now. We have default regions. We have custom regions and we have special, special units. These are the three main main files that we're going to be working with today. That I'm going to be telling you guys how to edit and how to mess around with. Then we have two ref references. Rep weapons reference and zone reference. Weapon reference is showing the exact input you need to have certain weapons. Such as carbine rifle or combat pistol or um, RPG, pump shotgun nightstick blah 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 then they also have the exact names for the code i mean for the attachments um the exact name for the attachments and what to put for those then we have zone references which i'm going to be explaining later but not right now I'm trying to keep it all in one good flow one thing that is missing here is a vehicle reference I will be including a vehicle reference down in the, in the description below. It's going to be in the same format as these two. It's just going to be a plain old text file. And so you guys can use that for now. But there isn't going to be a vehicle reference in this file, unfortunately. So there is multiple ways you can open your XML file. But the three main ways, the three main programs I like to talk to you guys about is notepad plus plus semi-line text and visual studio code but for this specific video I'm gonna be showing you guys that how to edit it using notepad plus plus because I know most of you guys are going to be beginners and don't want to have all these different programs on your system uh, but I will be leaving a link for all three of these programs in the description below it's pretty deep in our description too, so you gotta go look for it. So, dig, dig, dig. 
To install Notebook++, just click on the link in the description or just copy this link right here into your address bar. Once you're on the website, it should take you to this home page. You can read this information that you, if you want. It just kind of tells you what Notebook++ is about and what it is and what it do. A little screenshot example to show you what it looks like you, with the code on it. If you go to download, download page. Try to get the earliest, I mean not the earliest, the latest release. Try to get the latest download. It's never good to get any of the earliest or early O downloads. If you really, really want, you can download 7.8.6. But I, will, I would really recommend you download the latest one. So if you click that and have multiple options to download. You can download it using an automatic installer. You can use a zip pa zip package, seven zip package, and the minimalist seven zip package. And that is for both 32 bit and 64 bit computer systems. Also, if you're into coding, you can also download the source code and look at that. For now, I would recommend for beginners to download the automatic installer. So if you have a 32-bit computer, click the install nation for that. If you have a 64-bit computer, click the install nation for that. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to exit off of here. Now, how to use Notebook Plus once you installed it properly. We're going to be looking into all three of these files so I'm going to be going quickly over not really much in depth of what each file do so default regions default regions hold the the main core backup types which is local patrol state patrol Local SWAT, New SWAT, Local Air, News Air, Female Local Unit, Female State Unit, K9 Local Unit, and K9 State Unit. I mean, Patrol. What these do in the actual XMM file is uh, it allows you to edit these different patrol types the different patrol units I like to say so let's open this default regions up really fast using notebook plus plus put it to full screen you'll see here it has all of the instructions that you need I'm not again I'm not going to be going in depth about this if you want this I'll be I can make a different video going really in depth with this but for now I'm going to be scraping the surface level and talking about the different things that people like to do with these files most often. So the, these are to better explain it. Um, local patrol would be the local the local police department. So let's say I'm in Los Santos. If I call local patrol, LSP will come. They will arrive. There will be the units that come. State patrol. By default, that is center center dress state police or uh, center dress highway patrol call them that they will come local SWAT SWAT of the local police department new SWAT new SWAT will come local air same thing news air same item and so forth and so forth with female local patrol and K9 local patrol and female state patrol and K9 state patrol. Now we have there is multiple different regions where these units can be called, or where you can assign these units to be called. Rather, we have Los Santos City, Los Santos County, Blaine County, and North Yankton. So if we go down here to to the LSPD section. This is under Los Santos City. And the different vehicles we have is Police Police 1, Police 2, and Police 3. 
We have uh, some pads for the policemen, outfits for them, which I will explain how to do later, along with the vehicles. And uh, we have a weapon system, also will be later explained. All of this is under what we call a vehicle set. A vehicle, you can think of a vehicle set as a type of police. So let's say you're really into like ranks with your LSPD of art or a player gameplay. And let's say you want um, a supervisor and a normal police officer. You will, you will have to set up two different vehicle sets. And let's say you have you download some vehicles from the LSPDFR website or whatever the case have may be, and you have a supervisor vehicle and a normal police vehicle. You have to put the supervisor vehicle under one vehicle set with the with their weapons and their outfits, and in the other vehicle set you have to put the normal police car and their outfits and their vehicle in their um, weapon set. Then we also have Los Santos County, Blaine County, and North Yankton. We also have State State Patrol for Los Santos County and Blaine County in North Yankton. Local SWAT for Los Santos State, I mean Los Santos City, Los Santos County, Blaine County, and North Yankton. Now you may be asking why is it multiple repeats? Is because for each for each backup type. There has to be one region for it. So for local patrol, state patrol, local SWAT, new SWAT, local air, new air, female local patrols, female state patrol, K9 local patrol, and K9 state patrol, there will be one region, one vehicle set at least for Los Santos City, Los Santos County, Blaine County, and North Yankton. Now you may be asking, what will you do if you want? to kind of customize the regions a little bit. What do you want to do? Let's say you want to have a Davis police only, or let's say you want to have police at the airport only and ha have the police at the airport have their own vehicle, There's, their own uniforms, their own weapons, whatever you want to have with that. With that, you would have to go to custom regions, and that's that. how we kind of go to that file. So open up with Notebook++. Plus Plus. This is custom regions, and what this will do is you get to define custom zones. So within one region, there's multiple zones. So within Los Santos Los City, there are multiple zones like Davis, there's West Vinewood, Mira Park, Del Perro Beach, um, the canals, all of that stuff, the perts, the airport. Um, literally all different type of zones. And same thing with Blaine County, same thing with Los Santos County. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think North Yankton, North Yankton is its own zone. So it's kind of like Australia being a continent in a country. North Yankton is a region in its own zone. It's both. Let's say, let's go, let's say we want to have something for high crime areas. Let's say we want to have high crime areas, police patrol and special police vehicles, or they patrolling unmarked vehicles or undercover FBI vehicles. We will have to sit on all, our own custom zone for high crime areas. And within this high crime area section, it have to be covered by its own custom region brackets. And with, within this within these custom region brackets, we have multiple mini sections. So we have zones. Zones will have the different areas that the police patrol in, kind of like how I talked about earlier about the zones being in the regions. This includes Davis and Strawberry. If you want to find out what the different zones are for their exact names, because you can't just put, oh, I want strawberry. Like, no, you can't put that down. You can't put that down, or it wouldn't work, and your game might actually crash on, on duty. So you have to have the exact name 
So to look for the exact name, go back to your eliminate backup fo folder and go to zone reference and it have all the available zones you can put down with their matching zone name. So let's say I want to have Pillbox Hill. I'll put Bbox, Pbox. If I want to have, let's say, um, Mount Chiliad, I'll put Mount Chill with one L. So you have to have its exact name. Within these, again, within this custom region area, you have other things like vehicle sets. And within the vehicle sets, you have vehicles, uniforms, and weapons. Now, for the last file, we have special units. Special units is going to be where things like um, FBI, analysis, um, the fire units, EMS, all of that stuff. That's where all that stuff is going to be located. At. So if we take a look at this, we have police bike. We have supervisor. We have first responder medic. We have first responder fire. We have FBI. We have so many different things. We have the air ambulance, the air, the hospital helicopters. We have a lot of different things here. And these also have their own instructions. So for whatever reason, this video can't help you. Make sure you read here also before asking for help. Because these can really help you. These instructions are here to help you guys. We already know this stuff. We don't need this. This is for you guys to learn and to read about and to look over for information on. Okay. So on to the next section. Now I want to go over some of the common questions that we get asked in the Discord server. People like to ask different things like how to add weapons, uniform, vehicles, and add new departments. And I'll be going over all of that stuff. So first things first, the most common thing, vehicles. So if we open up default regions or custom regions, personally I'll be opening up default regions for this example. Just go to any, just go to the vehicle set that you want. So in this case, I want to have, I want to edit my LSPD, my LSPD vehicles. And do note, you can use any vehicles in the game, but they, if you can spawn the vehicle using this name, then you can use the name on here. But it has to be the exact same name. So for example, I have an add-on vehicle for Del Perro Beach, and I have that as DLPD, and I have two vehicles for it. So I only, only need two slots, and I add DPLP2, and those be my two vehicles. Those are my two add-on vehicles. I will not be showing you how to install cars, but if you want to know how to install cars, I'll link some helpful tutorials down below also if you want to know how to make an add-on I mean, a replacement vehicle into an add-on i also leave a very helpful tutorial down below as well so that is simple as hell that is how you add on vehicles now you do have a couple of options as you can see we have chance we have uh, passengers we have passenger chance there are a couple more things as well so here you can see we have a lot of different options for vehicles. Chance. This is the chance that some that model will be spawned. If you have more than one one entry, you need to have chance. So you see that I have two different things. I have to have chance. Or it, will, or it just break. It has to be there. But if I only had one vehicle, I won't, I won't need chance. I don't need it. I can delete it. Bam. It's done. It's over with. I don't need it. Passengers. This is the number of police passengers in the vehicle. And this will have no effect on ambulance or fire truck, fire truck units. So don't try to put those this tag on any of those type of vehicle sets. 
And do you know this mean passengers? Passengers isn't the driver. It's not the driver. So if you if you want to have a SWAT truck with fur guys in it. Fur SWAT guys, police units in it in the truck. You will have to put this the passengers to three. Because it's not counting the driver. It's not counting the person driving the truck. Passenger chance is the chance that those passengers will be there. So let's say you kind of want to have it mixed up a little bit. Maybe you want that police unit to have a partner. Maybe you don't want them to have a partner. You can kind of set up that chance. Livery. it will You can assign different liveries to the vehicle. So I know I have for my LSPD vehicle. I have five different liveries. The liveries are very small changes. In my case, it, all it does is change the um, the number on top of the vehicle, the the unit number. But in some cases, it can change to completely different things. Then we have colors of the vehicles. Then we have extras. Extras is just vehicle extras. So let's say you want a spotlight or you want a um, a speed checker or um. A webcam on your car, your vehicle, little different extras like that. That will be on the actual vehicle itself, so it's not like a, oh, each vehicle have a one through twelve vehicle extras. No, some vehicles have no extras at all. Some vehicles have all twelve. So it's up to the vehicle author, maker, creator, whatever, whatever you want to call them. It's up to them. So make sure you check your vehicles. Read me. Now, how to change your weapons. If you open up one of your XMM files, let's open up default regions, just for this example again. And let's go to local SWAT for Los Santo County. There's multiple different things that you can do with your weapons. You can make the SWAT, you can make the police unit come with nothing but a taser, or you can have them have nothing but a knife. You can make them with an RPG or a minigun and be completely fucking chaos. It's completely up to you. But you have to make sure you put it in right. Because if you don't put it in right, the machine, your computer, your the game, it will not know what the fuck to do. Think of it as you're tell you asking your mom what you want for Christmas. And you telling her that Instead of being very specific, you just like, oh, mom, I want a game system. And instead of a PlayStation 5, she come home with a GameCube from 2006. So you didn't get what you want because you didn't tell her what you want. The same thing here. You need to tell your, tell your machine what you want by putting in the very specific things in the specific format-wise. If you don't know the different formats, don't change it. Keep it how it is. This format have to be exactly how it is for the game to run and for you to go on duty with zero issues and zero crashes whatsoever. Now to change, back on topic, to change the weapons, there's multiple different options. So let's say we want to have, let's let's go with my personal setup. I have my units have a carbon rifle with a flashlight. And a combat pistol with a flashlight and a nightstick. My SWAT units do not hold taste, uh, st- t- uh, stun guns. They don't hold stun guns in my game. So I will delete this. So we'll just leave weapon nightstick. I will delete pistol as I would not want them to have a pistol and change this chance to 100%. Delete one of these as I will just want a combat pistol and change this not combat but to carbine change this to crop carbine now for the flashlights for the attachments just like I told you guys before when we went over the files you have to go to your weapons reference It may look scary, it may look a little bit messy, but this is how they look. 
there's this, and not only that, but Benji, he left two different lists for the full list of weapons and the full list of components for those weapons, the attachments for the weapons. But for here, I just, it has what I want. So we have combat pistol and we have carbine rifle. I want the flashlight for carbine rifle, rifle, so I will go to component, attachment, AR, flashlight. Copy and paste that. Go back to my XML file. So once you have it copied, all you need to do is type comp underscore one equal quotations and inside the quotations you would just paste the actual thing that you copied from the research and that's all you need to do that's all there is to it now when I load it up in game my comp my carbine rifle will have a flashlight attached to it uh, when I call my backup units my backup units will have flashlights on their carbine rifles want a flashlight on your carbine rifle that's a whole different process you have to go to your um, your trainer or if you stop the pad realistic gun system you have to edit those and then stop the pad config files but that's for a whole different video a whole different topic now we have uniforms now we're going to be back here in default regions And do note this this is what the file looks like without any significant edits. If you use yeah if you use EUP or um from the LSPDFR website, the uh, plugin to add uniforms and all that jazz, I will be linking a mod a plugin or rather a XML plugin down below and it will replace this file this file in the custom regions file with the EUP uniforms because this is not what it will look like this is the default uniforms okay the default LSPD far uniforms so here we have three different types of uniforms we have a normal uniform we have a uniform where uh, the units will wear have on when it's raining. Then we have another the last one where they will have on when it's snowing or when it's already snow on the ground. This is just to make it a little bit more realistic, because uh, you know we all hate it when we playing like let's say a snow patrol and all our I'm my player is in in a coat and jeans and boots and stuff but I look outside and there's um, AI wearing booty shirts and fucking sandals so it's not really much to the clothing um, I would highly 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 recommend you use a trainer like simple trainer or mayo like the mayo menu um, Personally, I have UAB, so I use that for specifically for my uniforms and stuff. But if you don't have that, um, and you use the basic LSP, LSPDFR uniforms, which is not, nothing is wrong with that, but it's just the vanilla uniforms. Um, use a trainer like a, a simple trainer made up menu, and it'll kind of help you out with the exact numbers of things. There's not really a reference sheet for the numbers because it it's it's not the exact same for every single person. Everybody has different clothing in their game. Everyone has different um, shoes, uniforms, different things like that. And it just it would have to have like literally like a thousand reference reference sheets. So it wouldn't really work that way. But if you do need help with this stuff, again, go to mod support one and mod support two in the Discord server. Um, which I have a link for in the description below if you're watching this on actual YouTube and Just will try to help you guys with this Again, this is only for a limited backup. This is not for any other 
fucking out there. Okay. Okay, now to the big one. I'm going to be showing you guys how to add brand new departments to your LSP, LSPD for our limited backup game. So we're going to need quite a few things for this. We're going to need a zone reference sheet so we can use this one. We're going to need the weapons reference sheet for this one. Personally, I do not need the vehicle reference sheet, but I will make one and have one for you guys in the description below for you guys to download, okay? Okay, so next we have to have custom regions. Again, custom regions. Kind of like what I talked about before, we are going to have, we're going to be redefining the zones that the police will respond in, uh, be in. These, uh, and something's important to note that I, I'm not sure if I told you guys in the beginning of the video or not. Um, eliminate backup units do not patrol. Again, eliminate backup units do not patrol. They will not spawn randomly on the streets and patrol. They will not spawn and do like the little fake pullover things that the normal LSPDFR units do. That's not their purpose. That's not their job. They are specifically there for backup, hence the eliminate backup part of the title. If you want if you want to edit the units that patrol and patrol randomly and go around the city and, or um, Sandy Shores or whatever you're patrolling at, you'll need to edit your vanilla LSPDFR files which I, I would try, I'm not sure because I don't know when offhand, but I will try to leave a tutorial video or article so you guys can know how to do that as well. But that's not what this video is about. This is specifically for limited backup files. So if you, let's say we want to make a new department. Um, I want my department to be, hmm. I want my department to be in Davis. And I want my department to have nothing but FBI vehicles and fuck it, miniguns. They have miniguns, FBI vehicles, and they will be patrolling in Davis. They'll have the exact same uniforms as the normal police officers, so there'll be no worry there. So, what you want to do is you can simply just what I would recommend you do is copy and paste a already existing custom region. So let's do the airport custom region. Copy and paste that. Press enter. Go back to the very beginning and do control V. So that way you have a duplicate of an already existing and correctly formatted custom region. Now, we're going to be calling this something just, how about something funny? Just the Davis, the, da the Davis cops. These are the Davis cops. They patrol Davis. They fuck around with the gang members. They try to steal their weed, their cocaine, all that shit. They try to steal their money. They're just some real down-to-earth cops when it comes to their own personal gain. But when it comes to other people, they don't really give a fuck. So, the zone will have to be David's. So let's go to our zone references. We can do Control F to find stuff. And go to Davis. Find Davis. There we go. And the zone will just be Davis. So copy and paste that where you see the A R P at and control V and do Davis. Now we will have to, I will speak a little bit on this later, but for right now, we already have a Davis zone for patrol, for local patrol. And we cannot have two of the same zone within the same backup type. So we can't have two Davis zones in local patrol. So we have to go to where it says high crime areas and delete the Davis zone from that so it'll just be strawberry for high crime areas and for the Davis cops it'll just be Davis 
Now for vehicles, I want FBI, FBI one and FBI two. This is the uh, the charger, and this is the um, truck. I mean, not the truck, the van. Pets. I only want one vehicle set. So only one vehicle set. And I want them to kind of look like the normal cops. So we can go down to, let's say, this one. Copy and paste this. And paste it where in between pets and slash pets. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. Copy and paste that. And this is what our cops will look like. It'll be, this is the default game cops so this is not the multiplayer uh, model cops this is just the basic police and p female police and that's really all there is to it um, if you want to add weapons cause we, I don't really see weapons here you all you have to do is add them below the pet and do the same thing you would with the default region so if we go back here to default regions you see we have a weapon a lot of different weapons so you can just copy copy and paste that from there and now they will spawn with stun gun nightstick they could spawn with a pistol or a combat pistol, but most of the time they have a pistol. So they can also spawn with a carbine rifle or a shotgun, but most of the time they have a carbine rifle. And all all the lethal lethal weapons have flashlights on them. So bam, that's easily how you could create a new department. Some common mistakes people make is formatting, double zones, wrong, wrong install nation locations, mixing up default with custom and not saving so to quickly go do that formatting you have to make sure formatting is right it have to be a one you hear me like it cannot be mixed up you cannot for example let's go to special units here you cannot sit here and have no closing tag for a vehicle set like if i if I let's say I save that right there and I loaded my game up, my game would crash on impact. If not impact, it would crash when I go on duty because that's when a limited backup loads is when you go on duty. It won't load if you're not on duty. So once you go on duty, it will most likely crash. And you're coming you'll you'll come running back to the Discord server saying your game is broken. I will ask you for your logs. And the logs will most likely tell us that you're missing that closing tag. And we'll go in there, we'll double check it, and we'll tell you, hey, you need to have a closing, cl closing tag. And we'll most likely provide an example or tell you what to put down. Double zones. It's kind of like what I showed you guys earlier when we made the, the new department. So let me go here. And you see how we have, let's say, um, f f f f f um, let's say we have Los Santos Airport, right? Let's say I wanted to copy that. Los Santos, Los Santos Airport, it's not a high crime area, but it's a very protected area. So I would like to have that for my high crime area. I put that there, and I copy and paste it there. And now, I now I have two airport zones under the same backup type, which is local, local patrol. That is a big no-no. Your game will crash as soon as you go on duty. So to fix that, you only can have one zone of each zone per backup type. And if you don't know what a backup type is, it's basically what I told you guys earlier. The local patrol, state patrol, local SWAT, news SWAT, local air, news air, female local patrol, female state patrol, K9 local patrol, and K9 state patrol in the one zone per 
backup type rule is also applies to custom regions. It has to be one zone only per zone. So again, you can't have two Davises, you can't have two Sharberries, you can't have two Vinewoods, you can't have two Downtowns, you can't have two Mission Roads, you can't have two Pillboxes. It may seem weird, you may want to try to fight it, try to try to get around it somehow, because you really want that those two different departments, but you can't ha you can't do that. It will not work. So you have to pick between one and delete the other zone. What wrong install nation location? People get the the locations for the install nation wrong a lot, quite a lot, a pretty long time. And what the main things that people get confused is that they get the plugins LSPDFR folder mixed up with the normal LSPDFR folder in your root folder. So let me go to my actual my actual GTA 5 folder here. Pretty all my game files here, all of my stuff here. And so for example, let's say I'm gonna go to plugins, LSPDFR, all my LSP LSPDFR dependent plugins right here. But let's say I fucked it up and moved it to LSPDFR folder, thinking that was the folder. That is what that's a big no no. Honestly, I wouldn't even know what will happen. I've seen people do this and they game do not crash. It just doesn't work. It doesn't do shit at all. So you need to make sure you put stuff in the right locations. Read the README files. Again, we have those there for you guys. We don't need them. We don't need the README files. You already know where to place your mindset. This is for you new players and unexperienced modders to get help and to be educated on these on this on these things. Mixing up default with custom. So what that means is you like to mix up default regions with custom regions. So let's say um, let's say I copy my local my local patrol for airport Los Santos airport and I place it under default regions and kind of let me just replace it here and bam I replaced it with that that is a big no no you don't do that you cannot do that it will not work. While it's still under local patrol, it's not a custom region anymore. This is not where customs go. So for for my from so for example, my look my personal um, custom regions, it has one for each one of these. For the default custom region, it doesn't have that. It just have Los Angeles Airport, certain dress parks, high crime areas, and that's that. State patrols is even it's there, but it's empty. So a common thing for you guys to know is that these files is to is meant to be edited. They're there to be messed around with, to ed to be edited, to be experimented on, to be fucked around with. Make your game however you want to make it. That's the purpose of these files. Customization freedom to have what you want to have what patrol cars you want what pets or uniforms you want what vehicles the name of the departments little things like that that's what they're here for so that is going to be it for this video you guys please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial and actually learned something leave down in the comment section below if you have any more questions or concerns also if you if you watch this in the actual discord channel also you can go to my support one and my support two to ask any questions about this tutorial or anything similar um subscribe to this channel for more content like this or any other gaming content and that is going to be it i'm the rex and i will see you guys next time bye